What's up guys, Robbie D here from Funko Pop Monthly, and in today's video I will be doing the Ultra Applesauce Pick 3 Challenge. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it to be notified of when future content like this video gets released. But anyways, let's get started. Like I had mentioned in today's video, I will be doing the Ultra Applesauce Pick 3 Challenge in which I was challenged by Dylan from a Funko Podcast back in April. And there are three categories to this challenge. Obviously, you don't have to use pop vinyl figures like I will be doing in this video. You can use basically any collection, uh, any collectibles that you do collect. I decided I was going to do Funko Pops because that is something I obviously collect the most of. So, the three topics basically that I will be discussing are the highest valued, the most sentimental valued, and then the wild card which is basically what I find to be either the most coolest or unique pop in my collection and in my opinion. So the highest valued pop in my collection coming in at $59 Canadian on the Funko app comes from pop animation line number 595 from the Yu-Gi-Oh series and it is the Hot Topic exclusive Dark Magician. Now I absolutely love this dual monster. I love this pop. I'm glad Funko made this into a pop. And as you can see the pop animation number 595 Yu-Gi-Oh Hot Topic exclusive sticker uh, Dark Magician. Obviously the pop art form of Dark Magician that's the front view, then you get the side, which obviously down on the side you have Dark Magician, 595 pop animation. The head of the pop art form of Dark Magician, you can see more of Dark Magician there with its staff. And then on the back, we have Yami Yugi, Seto Kaiba, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and Dark Magician Girl. And then finally the side of the pop art form, and of course Dark Magician, 595 pop animation. There it is. Like I said, $59 Canadian on the Funko app as I record this. And it's such a great pop. It's now time to move on to my most sentimental valued pop in my collection. This may not have been the very first pop that I got as a gift, but it actually was the second pop I got as, I believe, a Christmas gift. And this came from a good friend of mine, Dylan from a Funko Popcast. This is number 36 in the Pop Sports lineup, obviously coming from the NBA. He was a Toronto Raptors player, number 10, and it is DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan was one of my favorite players on the Raptors, and honestly, he still is a great player. Obviously, haven't been able to watch basketball in a while because of this COVID-19 pandemic going on, and I miss basketball. But regardless, here is the front of the box with DeMar DeRozan Pop Sports number 36, like I had mentioned. And uh, honestly, this, like I said, was a gift from Dylan. And um, basically, this is almost what started my collection besides the one figure that he did get me for a birthday gift, I believe, uh, which I have at my aunt's place. So honestly... Such a great pop. Here's the side, the pop head of DeMar DeRozan in the art form, 36, DeMar DeRozan down the side, pop sports, like I had mentioned. Actually, I believe that says pop NBA, which is weird because it comes from the pop sports lineup, but also on this side of the art form and everything, it says pop NBA as well, so it's interesting to see that on the box. Um, I started collecting maybe, what, two to three years ago now, I'm pretty sure. Um, this pop, I believe, came out, it says 2017 on the bottom here, I'm not sure. It's kind of engraved in there, so you can't really see it, but on the back here, I will show you all the players. Um, so, starting off with the top row, we have 
John Wall, Kawhi Leonard, and Christos Porzingis. We move on to the second line, which has James Harden, Damian Lillard, and Carl Anthony Towns. And finally, on the bottom row, we have Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kevin Durant, and Isaiah Thomas. All legendary players for sure. Um, honestly, great pop overall. And one of those ones that basically started my whole collection pretty much after this i now have up to 73 pops in total in my collection and it just keeps growing and finally i will now show you guys what i believe in my opinion was my most personal grail that i found at an eb games not in my city per se but it was in uh the niagara region where i live here in ontario and, uh, honestly, I was super pumped about this pop. When I saw it on the shelf, I automatically grabbed it, and I'm like, I'm buying this pop. There's no way I am not letting this one get out of my hands. Comes from the pop television line, number 589, from the series at Riverdale. It is Jughead Jones. Now, you guys might be thinking... Okay, that, that isn't necessarily what I would call a grail, but in my opinion, um, Jughead is one of my favorite characters on Riverdale, and I've been searching a lot for a Jughead Jones, and I know this pop came out in 2017 as well. Sorry, I was looking at the bottom of the box, which it says. Um, with Jughead Jones, though, for me, it was an ultimate grill in my opinion, just because I wanted to have a Jughead in my collection. Um, ever since starting to watch Riverdale, um, that's pretty much the story behind it. So there's the front of the box, Jughead Jones, number 589, Pop Television, Riverdale. On the side, you can see more of Jughead with his beanie. I'm pretty sure uh, it's kind of hard to see um, and on the back obviously with the first wave we have Archie Betty Veronica Jughead and Cheryl and the side art form of Jughead Jones like I said number 589 pop television and the art form of Jughead great pop in my opinion overall and honestly it's the most coolest and most unique pop in my collection, I'd have to say. Uh, there are a few others that I could have picked, but I feel like Jughead Jones was the right decision to make for this video. And finally, I have to nominate three YouTubers or Funko Pop collectors to do this challenge. So my first nominee is Madison Caitlin, aka Madkin Pops on Instagram. My second nominee is Malone's Pops. And my third nominee is Rye from Funkamon. So, there you have it. That was today's video, the Ultra Applesauce Pick 3 Challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button. Also, like I said, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it to be notified of when future content like this video gets released. I want to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys next time for a video for Funko Pop Monthly, in which I'll be doing my top 5 Funko Pops for the month of May 2020. Until then, keep on popping.